Does the Paris Agreement spell the end of your industry? Absolutely not. So I think the challenge is more than the one on climate change and how to provide energy to people. And in our company, we see the Paris Agreement as part of the solution and as a very important part of the solution and not the problem in itself. But I mean, now we have a climate change denier in chief in Donald Trump in the White House. I mean, the fossil fuel industry has a friend in the White House now, doesn't it? Was his election greeted with a sigh of relief, a cheer? Uh, so uh, the U.S. politics, and I mean, it's a democracy, they get to vote. So inside our company, at least, we're saying uh, we don't spend time on debating climate change. We, we have decided let's act on it and be part of that solution. So for us, that means to both reduce our own emissions, but also to grow in uh, new energy and be part of the energy transformation and even try to shape it. So do you monitor your, your carbon emissions? What were they last year and what sort of impact does that have on global warming? No, so uh, our emissions are around 14.8 million tons, quite a fairly high number. Glad to see that it was 600,000 tons less last year than the year before. So showing that we're on the right track. Uh, and we just recently launched an ambition to cut it with another uh, 3 million tons. But I mean, the industry, all fossil fuel industries, have been too slow on the uptake. This is all a little bit too little too late, isn't it, if we want to cut global warming? reach the target of a Paris Agreement? No, so I think there is a balance. So on the one hand side, we're providing energy to millions of people. So uh, you and I and all consumers are using energy as well. So we need to see a change of consumption, patterns of consumption of energy. And then, of course, you also need to see a change of, on the supply side, on trying to reduce the carbon intent. So we would like to continue to produce gas, oil in a very environmentally friendly way and also to but produce... Can you, can you produce oil and gas in an environmentally friendly way? Absolutely. So I think, uh, you why know... Why aren't people... Why isn't everyone doing it? No, that's a good question. I think the big challenge when it related to the energy transformation or actually to become a low carbon world is about all our economic activities needs to be done with less use of carbon, hmm. less use of energy. So we try at least to, for every barrel of gas that we produce or, or oil that we produce, to use as little energy as possible. So indeed, the, the biggest uh, field that we're developing now, we decided to run that on hydropower, mm -hmm. fully renewables.